Hey guys, Shamber Productions here coming back at you with another Transformers video review and in today's video I'm going to be taking a look at the Transformers Masterpiece MP10B Black Convoy aka Nemesis Prime. Now setting the figure off to the side so we can go ahead and get a look at the packaging here. I'm going to have to move my camera up some. We can see we got a couple pictures of uh, Black Convoy here in his robot mode and truck mode and whatnot. We can see all the little stuff down here Destron, Unicronian Herald, Black Convoy, MP10B. Coming around here to the top, we can see we got another picture of Black Convoy there. And then on the sides, we got the Transformers Masterpiece logo, which honestly is done really nicely with some reflective um, silver and whatnot. Uh, coming around to the back of the box here, we can see we got a ton of promotional images of the figure and whatnot. And we can see uh, some posing options. There he is next to uh, MP10, a.k.a. Optimus Prime. You can see all the good stuff you can do with the figure and whatnot. And then the bottom of the box is just, uh, you know, showing you what the figure comes with and whatnot. So overall, the packaging for this figure is really, really nice looking. And for the accessories, Black Convoy's already got one of them stored on the figure itself. Uh, for the other two, he does come with his ion rifle which is done very nicely. It's been done in black plastic, and then it does have some silver detailing here on the back. But overall, pretty nice. Let's see. Got a few details molded in. My camera will focus. Thank you. But it does fold up into a more compact form for him to store in robot mode and in truck mode. Um, but to do that, you have to fold up the barrel just like so, and then you push in the stock. So very simple, but whenever you push the little button here at the back, it all unfolds just like that for the robot mode which honestly is really really cool i really like that little gimmick it's a fun little fun little uh, gimmick for the figure i really do like it and then he does come with his energon axe which has been done really nicely it's made of a softer i wouldn't say rubber um but it's made of a softer plastic um it's a lot more pliable than just normal plastic but it's been done in a translucent red and the red for this is just mmm it's nice. It's really, really nice. It's this deep red, and it just looks very good. And uh, especially when you equip it to the figure, he looks awesome with this thing on. But you can see, very nice. Got some little details and whatnot. You got these little spikes. And again, it's made of kind of a rubberish plastic, so it is kind of pliable in certain areas. But overall, really nice. He also comes with a collector's card, which is done pretty nicely. You got a picture of Black Convoy there, and then here on the back. Got a picture of him in his robot mode and vehicle mode. So, really nice. And you also do get this, which I'm not sure what this is. I, I tried using the little QR code scanner here. It didn't work. Um, yeah, it says sample, so it's the sample something. So, I mean, hey, it came with the figure. Why not? And then he does have his instruction booklet, which is pretty nice. And then on the back here, it actually has, like, the history of Black Convoy, which basically has a list of all the different uh, Black Convoy figures, which is really cool. You can see all the different Black Convoy figures, and it's got, you know, the dates and stuff when the year they came out. So, really cool, but that's it for accessories. And here we have the main event himself, MP10B Black Convoy, a.k.a. Nemesis Prime, and this thing is looking wicked in truck mode. I honestly love the aesthetic of the uh, the truck that we've got going on here with all the black and whatnot. It looks really, really nice. Got some chrome details. You know, the smokestacks are picked out in a nice chrome. You can see here's some chrome on the wheels and on the gas tank. And as we come around to the front here, we got the silver stripe here on the side. The headlights and whatnot have been picked out in chrome. And the uh, the windshields are done in a nice, deep, dark red, which has been done very nicely. It looks incredibly good. We got some teal lights up here on the top. Very, very nice. Got a Decepticon insignia there on the side. Some footsteps molded in here on the side of the truck. The wheels are made of like a rubberish plastic and they are pinned on. So like this thing has no problem rolling at all like it, it rolls with zero it rolls with zero issues like it's it, it it has no problems rolling but we can see you got a little bit of a trailer hitch defined here um unfortunately there is no real trailer that the figure comes with that would have been cool to see but um you know it does have a trailer hitch made um from the mp10 mold uh so there is that if you have an mp10 trailer you could attach it to this theoretically um 
but that's pretty much it for the truck mode honestly looking great um you cannot store the axe in truck mode you can store the rifle in truck mode but it's something you do prior to transforming the figure into truck mode not again i'll get into how you store the rifle later but that's pretty much it for the truck mode honestly it looks really good really like the details it is a sharp looking figure now for the transformation we're going to start off with by taking these little gas tanks here on the side and folding them in just like so we're going to start off with the legs and we'll work our way to the upper body so then after that we can split the back here in half just like so and we can slide the legs down on these uh, they're on slider joints so there we have that done come around to the back here there's a panel here that will flip up and around the tires just like so and then there you have that there's a piece in here that you're going to flip up and flip around to kind of make these shin vents. Uh, very clever piece of engineering there instead of just leaving them out in plain view. I really like that. But flip those around to the front. We're going to slide in the feet like so. So they do slide in just a little bit for the transformation. We're going to slide those out and then we can unfold the toes and the heels just like that. And here we have the lower legs of uh, or I say the lower legs the legs of mp10 be all finished up now moving to the upper body here i am going to move my camera up some so i got room to work we're going to start off with by taking these smokestacks and pulling them up because there is a little detail whenever you push them down that kind of just connects it to the cab of the truck so we're going to pull these up just like so come around to the front here take these sections here push them out like so, take the headlights, untab them, take these little uh, side mirrors here and push them in. A little detail, but a little one I appreciate nonetheless. We're gonna take these here, fold them down, just like so, work with me, there we go. Take those little pieces and fold them down. And then what we can start to do is open up the windshield and kind of move MP10's arms out just like so, and they will, shimmy out of the rest of the body just like so and then we can take this little section here focus this little section here fold it in slide out the arm and then we can take this whole panel on the underside of the arm here unfold it and then rotate around the fist just like so and then there we have one arm for nemesis all done so we're going to repeat the same process on this side kind of make sure we can get clearance for the arms and whatnot fold them out push this panel in fold this panel out slide the arm down and then rotate that around and then there you have both arms ready to rock and roll so then we open up the windshield here fold out the robot mode head just like so take this section here push it in and then collapse this section here just like so we can then take these sections here with the wheels and fold them back just like so move the arms out of the way just like so take these sections here fold them in like that and then collapse the wheels into the body like so and then it will all this whole panel here will just sit along the back just like so Move the arm out of the way. Do that just like so. Take this section here, untab it, hinge it down, and then tab it into this grill here. And then that will all lock into place just like so. And then you take the windshield, close it up just like so. And then rotate the whole upper body around, straighten everything out. And here we have MP10B, aka Nemesis Prime in his robot mode looking fantastic and honestly nemesis prime looks great the overall figure itself has a shelf presence and just a presence in general that if this figure is standing alone just sitting there like this or just in any pose in general you look at it and go that thing's wicked looking that is cool just overall the aesthetic of the figure and the coloring looks fantastic so doing a quick 360 view of the figure we can see here all the details have been done very nicely we can see throughout we got all these different painted chrome details and whatnot you can see 
very nice and he cleans up very very uh very nicely too there's not a whole lot of kibble you got this going on here on the side sure uh but i mean that that's nothing that's really nothing um we can see all the nice details but straightening the straightening the figure out so we can go ahead and take a good look at him uh get a good look at all the details and whatnot we can see starting here at the feet got very nice details there got some teal paint and the feet are die cast metal uh this part of the foot and the back part of the foot is die cast metal as well so that's very nice we can see you got the chrome gas tanks there thighs have been detailed very nicely we've got some more teal paint on the forearms and whatnot and the hands have been detailed very nicely as well we can see i like this translucent kind of uh aqua green color they've got going on here for the uh, the waistband uh that looks really nice as well you can see that um got the nice chrome here for the uh the grill which looks really really nice as well we got that decepticon insignia there on the chest the nice dark uh red translucent windshield there uh, and then the head sculpt for this figure itself looks absolutely fantastic you can see the eyes are done in a red plastic it's a little bit harder to see on camera but they are red it's a little bit of a darker red than the chest but i mean it still looks fantastic with the silver and everything the head looks incredible you got some silver there on the crest overall loaded with detail and this whole thing looks incredibly nice again you know here are the shins we got these nice shin vents which have been done in silver just overall the figure is done incredibly well just straightening them out real quick just really good looking in general now for implication of accessories and whatnot we can see um again i did mention you can store the rifle on the figure and to do that we're going to take the rifle here if it focuses there we go take the rifle fold it up turn the figure around to the back this little section right here well, this little section right here opens up like so and then the rifle will drop in there's a little like little notch right here and there's a hole in his back that that notch will just drop into and then it closes up into his back and there you have that and again you can transform the figure and everything with the rifle attached so you can store it in truck mode now let's say you want to have him wielding the rifle you just pop this out fold it out just like so and then he does have a peg hole on the inside of his wrist right here which will peg in to a peg on the side of the rifle which is right here and then you just close that up lock that in and then get his fingers wrapped around it and he holds it pretty securely it's not the most secure grip um it's not the most secure grip in the world but you can get him posed around with the rifle which looks pretty cool and then for the energon axe he does um he is able to wield it as well obviously um you take this and it's got a little cutout it's meant for this arm you can't make him wield it with uh, either arm unfortunately but it does have a cutout for the thumb here which does slide over his wrist just like so and there you have him wielding this giant energon axe which looks incredible like you get some really cool poses with this thing and he does look menacing but there you have that um very simple and then for his other accessory he comes with he does have the matrix of chaos which is really cool so to access that open up the chest here and then we open up this panel here and then we got the ma matrix chamber right here which i have to really kind of get my fingernail under but there is the matrix of chaos right there and kind of getting that loose is kind of difficult but once the matrix of chaos is loose we can see here we have it like so and then this whole middle section is die cast and it's got the nice chrome handles and everything and this nice red uh this nice red uh translucent plastic in the center which is light pipe so if you get light shining through this thing it will shine a bright red which focus okay we're just gonna have to do this but we can see he can hold it um it is kind of difficult to get him to do but he can hold it in the palm of his hand or you know if you can get his thumb wrapped around it you can get him holding it like that but um just putting it back in his chest here we can see it just 
slides in and then you tab all this back into place and uh, that is it for the accessories overall you got a lot of options there but let's talk about the posability now that we're done talking about the accessories this figure obviously has to have the posability to be able to wield them and he most certainly does starting off with the head the head is on a joint that allows him to look down and up and then you do have the transformational joint which allows for a little bit of extra movement side to side at the head Got these little antenna joints here, which allow them to pose around however you really want for whatever reason. 360 arm rotation. You got joints here at the arm, which slide out, which allow you to move the arms outward some. Uh, it is a little bit limited, but there you have that. Elbow bin, 90 degrees. Elbow swivel or bicep swivel. You do have a wrist swivel. The fingers open up at the knuckle joint, and then you do have a extra joint here for the index finger and then the lower part of the finger does have another joint there um, but then the rest of the fingers are molded together on their own hinge so there you have that 360 waist swivel outward movement at the legs forward movement on a ratchet at the legs backwards movement thigh swivel knee swivel knee bend which is on a nice little ratchet then you do have ankle tilt and then some forward movement at the ankle as well. So again, a lot of nice posability. He's able to pull off a lot of cool different poses. So overall, Nemesis Prime here is a fantastic figure. The truck mode looks good. The transformation isn't overly complex like a lot of modern day masterpiece figures. And the robot mode just looks so good and poses super nicely and this is proof that masterpiece figures don't have to be super complex in order to be masterpiece figures just this figure does so much but remains simplistic while giving a premium feel to the figure this is just a fantastic figure in general i absolutely love it but guys that's all for me. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If so, be sure to leave a like, comment what you think of Nemesis Prime down in the comment section below, and be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video from my channel. That's all for me, Champion Productions, signing off.